All right, guys, I am finally ready to talk to you about this line. This is Varivas Master Limited, and I got the 2.3 pound braking strength, and the diameter is 0 0.117 millimeter, not inches millimeter. And uh, you can even see the price here actually 1100 Japanese yen, which is roughly $10 but you're gonna have to pay shipping from japan as well so expect to pay maybe 14 bucks on ebay uh, when you get it 100 and this is for 140 meter spool which is roughly 150 yards here is what the line looks like real close the, the camera is actually focusing really well for some reason even without a background but uh this line, as you can tell, has smooth surface like mono and fluorocarbon and nylon and all of those. But it is actually not any of them and it's not a hybrid of them. Okay, this is a totally different kind of fishing line uh, called polyester. Even says here on the label super ester, okay. Polyester is much denser than the fluorocarbon not much but it is denser than fluorocarbon and sinks faster and it also has less stretch than fluorocarbon so i'm going to talk later uh, about the implications of these properties you can probably guess them already but yeah polyester is denser than fluorocarbon and uh, has less stretch than fluorocarbon and if i have to tell you how the line feels and looks when you examine it real close uh, the best uh, term i can come up with is it feels really plasticky okay it feels like if you make too sharp of an angle it will just snap instead of kinking it feels very plasticky very different touch feel from uh, all of these nylons and the fluorocarbon also feels very nylonish to me so when you get this line for first time, you will immediately feel that it's a little bit different than the other lines. Allow me a quick plug here before I proceed. I saw this line on a YouTube channel called Trout Magnet Man. I'm going to make sure I write his uh, channel name somewhere on the screen. But uh, Randy had very nice things to say about this line and... Uh, his channel is kind of unique in so far that it is one of the very few, perhaps the only place, I don't know, I haven't browsed extensively, but uh, either the only or one of the very few places where you can get information on JDM Tackle in English. Okay, so if you have interest in that, uh, uh, please go check his channel, okay? Okay, here is the agenda for this video so you can plan your attendance. First, I'm going to go over the amazing features of this line, and some features are really amazing. Then I'm going to go over the horrible features of this line, and there are some horrible features as well. And then I'll make a quick summary and my recommendation on the best application for this fishing line. Okay, the first amazing feature is casting distance. This line absolutely shocked me the first time I threw a 164 ounce trout magnet. Uh, I think the trout magnet roughly went twice farther than my most finesse rig uh, could throw it before I, I put this line, okay? It's not 10%, 20%. Um, you know, granted, I never before used a line with 0.11 millimeter diameter. So this line not only has special, you know, features, but it's also thinner than anything I ever tried before. But I'm telling you, on my first cast, I was shocked. I mean, you, know, you cast the trout magnet in the air and it just keeps flying. And if you never used finesse tackle and you try this line for first time, you will be shocked the first time you cast something really small okay because you know heavy objects they fly easily no matter what but this 164 even 132nd ounce uh, tiny crappy jigs with this line 
you will be shocked, it will put a smile on your face. Absolutely amazing casting distance. Even if you watch my video and you're prepared for it, the first time you cast this, I'm telling you, it, it, it will crack a smile on your face. I don't want to spend any more time on this, uh, but casting distance is just nothing short of phenomenal. Okay, let me try to demonstrate something. Can you hear this sound? This is the sound of zero stretch, okay? And this line has absolutely sensational sensitivity. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, before I started crappie fishing, and more particular, you know, micro jigging for crappie, I never cared about sensitivity, and every time somebody would talk uh, about sensitivity and praise sensitivity, I would immediately assume that they're full of it okay so if this is uh, what you think of me right now I totally get that because I was there too but when you crappy jig sensitive you have to rely on sensitivity and you very quickly learn to appreciate it you can't see nothing uh, there is no bubble sensitivity is all you got and this line again uh, just as spectacular difference in sensitivity as uh, spectacular was the difference in casting distance. Now, I have only used it here on Daiwa Presso rod, which is not a sensitive rod by any measure. Well, actually I take that back. It is pretty sensitive, but it's not supposed to be sensitive because it's very cheap. It's only $60. But it has very good i don't want to you know go on that tangent in my opinion even though it's cheap it is very sensitive rod even though the blank is not stiff it's still sensitive rod but what i was saying was that i could not believe the difference in sensitivity just by putting this line on i mean it is absolutely amazing it is amazing and you know, it's absolutely amazing how much more you can feel little taps, man. Little taps, just like this. The fish didn't even pull, okay? It's not pulling left or right. You just feel the tap. It is absolutely uh, amazing. And the downside of this is once you put the rod down and grab a different rod, you feel numb. And this is now bothering you. So beware that if you get used to this kind of sensitivity, normal mono will become intolerable. The only thing I can use now is braid or this one when I jig for crappie. Even fluorocarbon is difficult because it feels spongy compared to this. So sensitivity to wrap it up absolutely fantastic i actually looked at their other high vis colors and i liked them all so i don't know who picked those colors for varivas but uh, sir i tip my head off to you so casting distance sensitivity nice color all of that is fine and dandy but unfortunately the line has some pretty bad almost fatal almost terminal problems okay and they're almost fatal for me but for some people they will be fatal and the first problem is did you see what just happened i just opened this pool okay the line does not want to stay coiled around the spool it just i mean this this line has been on this spool three months now it just wants to shoot out of the spool. The first day I used this line, I got maybe 20 knots, just the first day alone, and I lost maybe, I don't know, 30 or 40 feet of line on the very first day. So beware, even if you're experienced angler, even if you are prepared for this after watching my video, I promise you, uh, in the beginning, you will have big problems casting this line. You will get knots, just, I'm telling you, it will surprise you how bad it can be. 
the good news here is that there is something you can do about it, okay? And that is to use the spinning reel kind of like a bait caster. You know, bait casters, when they cast, they don't use the brake. At least good uh, anglers don't. They always kind of softly stop the spool with their thumb, okay? You can do something similar here. So after the cast, you can see in these Japanese demo videos, the Japanese anglers, uh, at the end of the cast, they always gently touch the rim of the spool so they stop the line shooting out before, this is very critical, before the lure hits the surface. But when I, you know, jig for crappy and I cast, I actually flip the spool manually. So what I learned was I have to flip the bale a little bit earlier than what I'm used to, okay? But as long as you flip the bale before the lure hits the surface, you, are, you will be fine. The second problem, however, has no solution. If you look at the braking strength here, it says 2.3 pounds, which is about 1.05 kilograms. And I'm converting to kilograms because I have a drag checker here that I also saw on Randy's uh, YouTube channel and my drag checker measures in kilogram, okay? So the line is supposed to break 1.05, the, the line is supposed to break when the white arrow stops, let me focus, the white arrow stops exactly here, okay? So let's test this line without any knots and see what is the breaking strength of this line. I stopped the video here for a second so I can zoom in on the drag checker. But let's test. This is so difficult to work with this line. It just wants to shoot out. Doesn't want to stay anywhere. Okay, so as you can see, no knots. I'm just holding it with my hands. Let me grab it stronger. And the white arrow now should go up just over the number one, okay, which is one kilogram. Let's see how high we can go. Me. Zero point nine. Okay, here is a beautiful uni to uni nut as done by iFish. And this is the leader that I always use when I do crappy fishing, not because it's the best, but because I bought a thousand yards of it and I still have a lot of it. So this is Seagar Red Label 6 pound. Okay, quite a bit thicker than my main line. And that's how I always connect the two lines with this unit to unit knot that you see right here. Usually I, I trim the edges uh, closer but now I want it to be visible on the camera so I left it a little bit longer. So let's just do this. All right, 0 0.8, okay, so maybe 0 0.82. I, this is actually, uh, again, uh, I, I don't want to run this too many times on video, but this is actually on the lower end of the breaking strength that I record with this. Uh, usually I get between 0 0.82 and 0 0.88. The problem is that in real life I am observing much lower breaking strength, okay? Every time I snag, I always grab the line with my hand and I never pull with the rod and the reel. And that's how I break it. And I snag a lot because, you know, in crappy fishing I only fish around snags. Well, in the summer. But you know, it takes a good pull here. I have now a pretty good feeling of how, how much you have to pull to break this line. And I have to tell you, if real world strength of this line was 0 0.8 kilogram, I would be totally happy. I mean, this is more than enough to catch a, like a 10 pound uh, carp. But I don't know, man, when I snag and I pull this line with my hand, it breaks so easy. I mean, nothing close to the pull that I have to do here on my bench. So I'm just warning you, the strength of this line in real world. 
I don't know if it's even I don't know if it's even one pound so if you use this line you will need to set your drag to some very soft setting okay there's just no other way around it I don't know if why this is if you have any kind of kink remember this is plastic it it cannot it doesn't tolerate any kind of kinks uh, just cut it off and retie because you know it it may cost you a big fish okay with all of that said do i recommend this line and will i buy it again well i already did buy it again i ordered two more spools uh, one exactly the same the same test and i bought another one in the clear color so i don't have to tie uh, you know leaders all the time but uh, do i recommend it if you are beginner angler absolutely not don't think about it if you are a budget uh, uh, if you're on a budget absolutely not again it is expensive and not worth it you you absolutely don't need this to catch anything you can catch crappie with the cheapest line in walmart which you know ironically will probably be more reliable than this line in terms of breaking strength the only folks uh, to whom i would recommend this line is folks who are just you know you know they they, they just want to push the limits of casting distance and sensitivity and they don't mind all of the drawbacks that i just listed you know the the low breaking strength the knots the high cost you know if you don't mind all of that and you just want to test something new i promise you this line will put a smile on your face okay so uh that's that's it for this review if you have any questions on anything that i missed please leave them below thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye bye guys